the masks? How did the masks come into the whole situation? When it came time to play shows, which was, I mean, we had already, like, recorded a, a demo, like, an album worth of demos, and the music had meant so much to us up to that point that all the ridiculing and finger pointing and, like, disregarding of uh, the music that we had done before in the place that we come from you know, in, in Des Moines. Yeah. Basically, we wanted to shield all the rock and roll cliches and the bad influence that can come in and ruin bands like, you know, the pants hanging off the ass, which is fine, and all the Adidas endorsements and the Puma stuff that has nothing to do with why you start playing music in the, in the, in the first place. Right. right. People start modeling Calvin Klein's jeans as they lose touch with who they are. Yeah, you were saying that. So what happens? Like, is that the state of rock and roll right now? Like, yeah, it that is. bands can, get, can well, get sucked into, like, advertising? Yeah, really it, it's, a, it's a scary thing, and you have to look at it the right way. And the right way is that there's nothing wrong with being part of stuff that you actually believe in. Mm. But being um, coached into something that you're just doing it for money and, and you know, you're put on a billboard wearing something that you would never wear your whole life. Yeah. And in the beginning of your career when you're hungriest, you would like look at that and go, there's no way I would ever do that. And then all of a sudden, you know, it's these people that put you in power and then you're like, you know what, now that I'm in power, I just want it all. So, you know, I'll put those jeans on and I'll do something that normally I wouldn't do, but, you know, I'm getting paid. Yeah. And that's the downfall of the art. And we live we don't for want the that, art. Yeah, we don't want to. So, like, if somebody said, hey, I'll give you a million bucks to put these uncomfortable jeans on, would you do it? No. You wouldn't Absolutely. do it? Never. Absolutely not. I, um, you know, every one of these guys and girls, you know, sometimes they have their favorite members. And, uh... You know, like, when I'm up on stage, I'll have people that'll stand in front of the clown, and they'll mimic, you know, I used to think it was, like, just mimicking things that I do, yeah. but I realized that the reason why they're in front of me is because they have a little clown in them, yeah. and I'll see the pain, I'll see them releasing the pain, and that's worth more to me, because who cares about the rest of it? When I'm old and gray, and I'm looking back on my life and realizing that I got to live out my dream, I'm going to see other people that we share it, you know, because you can be black, you can be white, you can be Chinese, you can be an alien, it doesn't matter. You can when, be a bunny rabbit. You can be anything you want, but when when people come to a Slipknot show, it's all about the music. And, it, you know, you find out firsthand that music is the universal language, because we've been all around the world now, and everybody just expressed themselves in the